Jupiter, its four brightest moons were named, they call the Galilean moons. Galileo first saw them through his telescope and then described them. But this is, uh, let me remember, we have Io, Ganymede, Callisto, and I forgot one. How could I forget Europa? My gosh. So um, uh, Io, Callisto, Ganymede, and Europa. Those are the four biggest moons of Jupiter's, I lost count, is probably near somewhere around 100 moons or more. Because yeah. every time we get closer to it, we see other tiny little rocks. And what distinguishes a moon from just like a not moon? You know, if it's just right. if it's orbiting and it's bigger than a dust particle, is right. it a moon? Can you be a moon no matter how little you are? This right. is a debate, and I'm not going to bring that up here. But I'm just going to say those are the four big ones, and those are the ones that kind of really matter. When you, when you see Jupiter through a telescope, there they are. Okay? Nice. And there's four of them, and they, just, they go around Jupiter. And Galileo, when he first saw them, he said, oh, there's stars near Jupiter. And then he looked later on, and he said, wait, the stars have moved. Moved. He called them the, 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 the Jupiter stars, right? And because wh why would you think you're discovering a moon? This right. isn't, you, you're coming out of, out of nowhere and landing on this information. And so he was able to see that they moved around, they orbited Jupiter. Oh right. my gosh. Right. 